some Western ideals, some Western ideals, some Western ideals. Example. And there's so many different horror stories that you'll hear overseas in the Middle East of women that have been abused, women that are victims. Now, of course, this isn't, a, you can't take one case like this and characterize this for all of Islam and all of Muslims. In truth, I've met very nice Muslims and Muslims that have exactly taken uh, some Western ideals in terms of equality, in terms of how you ought to treat a woman and so forth. In truth, I've met very nice Muslims and Muslims that have exactly taken uh, some Western ideals in terms of equality, in terms of how you ought to treat a woman and so forth. in terms of equality, in terms of how you ought to treat a woman and so forth. Some Western ideals. Women are treated with respect in Islam. Do some Muslim men mistreat women? Certainly. As American men mistreat some women. But it's not in the teachings of Islam. In fact, the Muslim woman is supposed to be protected. The men are the protectors and the maintainers of the women. So I can just say it briefly that the women is supposed to be given great respect and great protection in the Muslim community. And I am ashamed to see that 102,000 American women are raped a year. It's a shame how women are battered and, and these um, uh, um, shelters are filled with women who are battered by their husbands and by their boyfriends, beat up and killed. Um, so hopefully that shouldn't happen in Islam. It doesn't happen in Islam. I hope it doesn't happen among some Muslims. I'm also embarrassed that this society has become so free that they parade their women naked, magazines. And right now there's been a lot of stings on the internet. There are people that trade pictures of women and little, little girls, child pornography on the internet. It's a shame. In a Muslim society, you would never have that. I remember when I went to Mecca and I had um, a Times Magazine in my suitcase. And when you, went to, when you go to, the, before you go into the city, at the airport, they check uh, customs. And I remember that uh, the security guard took my Time magazine and he started going through it, tearing pages out. Tearing pages out, throwing the garbage, tore this page out, throwing the garbage. I said, what are you tearing my magazine up for me? And, and, and realized that things that we take for granted, half-naked women in magazines, to them this is strange to see a half-naked woman in a magazine, so he was tearing it out. And I know that you call that censorship, cens censoring. I understand that. Because I understand how Americans are about their freedom. And sometimes, you know, even freedom should have a boundary. Uh, but, uh, and these are the boundaries of Allah. Don't go past the boundaries. So even in a, in a democratic nation like America, there's got to be boundaries. There's got to be boundaries. And, um, and the question is, will those boundaries be set by man or set, set as we believe by Allah? the Lord of the worlds. As long as the boundary is set by man, he can change it. He can say one day, you, you, uh, you're allowed to drink alcohol, and then the next day say you're not allowed to drink it, as the Constitution of the United States did with prohibition. Some Western ideals. And